for the sign of cancer hello welcome to my channel just remember the top cards that you see they're paired with the bottom cards and the decks that i use for this reading i'll have them listed in the description box below i've already shuffled in we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person we'll see what's coming up we'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So, Cancer, the recent past energy between you and your person. We got the star card and it's with the world card. Now, this world card is actually about completion. You've worked hard. You're almost to the finish line in some way. So just don't quit now because you're so close. You could feel like you need some well-deserved rest, relaxation. Don't be afraid to take it because you're getting closer and closer to who you really are at your deepest levels. Now, when it comes to work, there's a very good chance that you could be working way too hard for far too little recognition and money. Now, if this is the case, it's going to be important for you to toot your own horn a little just to make sure that the powers that be don't accidentally overlook your many positive accomplishments. Now, like I said, it's with the star card. With this card, you could find yourself feeling really inspired, more hopeful about the future than you have in a while more confident that your needs are being met, whether it's emotional or financial or both. Just know nothing can be taken for granted, but it's unlikely. It's unlikely that your confidence is misplaced. Now, this can be a spiritual card, and you could find yourself feeling at one with all the creation. It's not a common feeling, so you want to make sure to savor it. So basically, the recent past energy, world clarified by the star. So I'm getting for a lot of you cancers, you were ready for a chapter to close with your person. You knew that if you did this, that it would bring rejuvenation to you, to your life. You would be more hopeful and you would have a lot of more, a lot more faith in life and people and gene and things in general um so yeah you you knew that if you close a chapter with your person ended the cycle made it a end made it the end of the journey basically go through closure with your person or close the chapter with your person you knew if you did this that you would be feeling fabulous like a star maybe like you used to feel before you met this person or how you used to feel at some point in your life just hopeful and inspired and feeling renewed so this is something closure was something that you thought about or something that you did ending a chapter with your person so let's move on over let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you we got the queen of swords and it's with the queen of pentacles queen of swords can point to a woman in your life now this is the type of person that's not to be trifled with she could have dark hair dark eyes it could go either way though now if this is not a person it can point to the need for you to be very forceful very honest in some situation just to get your needs met so you might have to put your foot down because the queen of swords can indicate that your instincts they're serving you well you already know what it is that you want and what it is that you need now you just have to go after it it's a very forceful energy and some people find this queen of swords really abrasive now it's with the queen of pentacles which can indicate that you might be spending money, spending money, time, and energy on your home, 
getting it to be more comfortable. This is a good thing, provided you don't take on too much debt, because people could be looking to you for insight, maybe some advice. You'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. This is going to be a time period when you get a whole lot accomplished. So, Cancer, coming up, Queen of Swords, clarified by the Queen of Pentacles for you and your person. So, like I said, you're trying to close a chapter, or you tried to do this. You want, you're ready to end the cycle with your person. Because you knew it would make you feel fabulous again. You're looking for re rejuvenation. Having faith and hope about life overall. But you knew you needed to close the cycle. And it looks like your person coming up, they could be reaching out to you. But not in a pleasant way. Not in a pleasant way. They might say or do things to you to bring about conflict or drama. Yeah, because Queen of Swords is... Like I said, she is one that's not to be trifled with, and uh, the Queen of Swords will cut you in many ways. So, yeah, you, this person could be reaching out to you. They see that you're you're ready to complete the cycle with them. They sense it, or they know it, or you've told them, and you're just wanting comfort. You don't want any drama. Yeah, you're the queen of pentacles. You just, you just feel like falling back. And you don't want any fight, fuss, or struggle with this person. But it looks like they could be trying to bring it. So we move on over. And we take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the ace of cups and the four of swords. Now the ace of cups is very powerful. When it comes to love, happiness, and affection. It's about new beginnings. Although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. Things will be looking up. People will respond to you with happiness, love, goodwill more than usually. So you should be feeling good about life. Great time to make friends when you get the Ace of Cups. Now it's with the Four of Swords, which is showing there's a need for a break. Could be for normal life. Yeah, there's a need for a break. This can, also, this can also mean that you or someone in your life could withdraw for a time. But keep in mind that the, the withdrawal is not permanent. It's also a sign to give people their space. You could be needing some time and space to yourself. Others could be pushing too hard for bits and time of your attention. Don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself or to just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, Take them at their word, because if you push in the circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. So your challenge, Cancer, is of Cups, clarified by this Four of Swords. <laughs> well, you could be... Yeah, like I said, you want to fall back. You don't want any drama with this person. Don't want any drama. And it looks like coming up with the challenge, it looks like you, you just want to go away. Maybe you feel like you need a vacation. Because this Four of Swords is about rest after a struggle. The Four of Swords is a card below the word challenge. You see how this man, he went to the top of the mountains. He took his four dogs and his four swords and a candle. He lit the candle in a shoe. And he shut his eyes. He plans on being there overnight or maybe for a couple of nights. Yeah, if anyone, if anyone disrupt disrupts his peace, he'll just pull out the four swords and use them. You need some type of rest, Cancer. You went through some type of struggle with this person. It could have been the conflict and drama that they that they're bringing. As the Queen of Swords is very forceful and not very nice. Your person could be trying to convince you to let's start again. 
Yeah, because the Ace of Cups is about new beginnings. So, they could be trying to... It seems like they're going from mean to nice, mean to nice. They're going back and forth with their energy. I think they're just trying to get you to react with this type of energy. So now they're reaching out to you with the Ace of Cups. And it's all about being loving with new beginnings. Trying to get something started. If this is an existing relationship, it's about taking it, taking it for a turn for the better. A deeper level of understanding or commitment. Yeah, a fresh new start could be. That's what they're looking for. So they're trying to get things started. This person, put it this way, this person does not want to see this connection come to a close. Because the world card is about closure. So we move on over and see what the outcome is. We got the King of Pentacles. And it's with the King of Wands. Now the King of Pentacles is actually about success. Could be success with money matters. Because when you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that means money, cash, coins, finance, income. Now when this card appears, it's a sign that now is really not the time to be a maverick. But it's a time to follow the established way of doing things. So when it stands for an actual person in your life, it can refer to someone who's masculine, dark hair, dark eyes, but it could go either way. If it's referring to a man in your life, just know that this is someone who you can believe and trust. Now, it's with the King of Wands, which is um, someone who could want to serve as a mentor for you. It's positive. Now, when this does not represent an actual person in your life, it can signify that you could have a lot of men around you who are supportive of you and think well of you. So you could feel ambitious, goal-oriented, have the will to, to accomplish whatever you have in your mind. So the outcome, Cancer, King of Pentacles, clarified by this King of Wands. So King of Pentacles is, is showing that your person wants success. They're not ready for closure. Absolutely not. They are not ready for this chapter to end. They want to, they're still, they want to, let's try this again. Let's see if we could make this work. Let's go for a fresh new start somehow. Your person still has caring and protective feelings for you. Yeah, so that's what the King of Wands is about. Caring and protective feelings. So, yeah, Cancer, you're dealing with someone. I don't know. They might bring a lot of conflict and drama to the connection. Because I'm looking at the Queen of Swords and this Four of Swords. Four of Swords, rest after struggle. And Queen of Swords is very forceful. And you just don't want to deal with the Queen of Swords. You cross the street if you can when you see her coming. So that's what I'm getting that type of energy your person probably brought to the connection. They're trying to bring it back just to get you not to end this in this chapter with them. You don't want any conflict. You just want to fall back. But they it looks like they're gonna keep trying. They want a fresh new start with you. They have caring and protective, protective feelings for you about the connection. And they do want success with you and the connection. So, Cancer, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. 
So, Cancer, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass, and we'll all get through this. So, stay strong. Take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next Cancer reading, which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, your person in this reading could actually be a friend, could be a family member or a situation. And yes, the roles can be switched. And you could be them or they could be you. So, Cancer, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care. Reading. And take care. Reading. 